Hello! Uh, ooh, finally getting around to doing this. Um, I'm Maria from Mummy's Busy World. Um, you may know it from uh, because of Little M. And basically, I know Susanna probably hates me. I know it's taken me a long time to do this, but there is a good explanation for this. Now, I'm talking about the Mummy Me time, and it's actually this is kind of the opposite because he's only two and a half. He's clearly not going back to school. I don't have. The thing is, my life has basically been turned upside down since probably the end of July. Um, some of you might know, I have been working almost full time, four days a week, since um, little M was one. He went back. He went to nursery. He went to nursery when um, he turned one. So I've been working four days a week for a year and a half, basically. Then we decided. Well, you know, we've been in the UK for six years. And it's just kind of that thing, and you know, we are thinking of uh, number two coming soon, hopefully soon, I don't know. Um, and it's that thing, it's like we're here by ourselves, my husband's not British, I'm not British, you know, what are we doing here? Um, so we decided, you know, we think it's time to go back to the U.S. Um, where, I mean, my family's mostly in Chile, but I do have family in the U.S. So, you know, just to make things easier, because we have no one here, I don't, I, I you know, time to myself doesn't exist because if I can't do it with, with my son or um, or have my husband take care of him, it really doesn't happen. So anyway, the reason I say my life has been turned upside down is because, well, in July we decided, well, you know, since we are going to be moving back to the States, I decided to, to leave my work, to leave my job and take about a month and a half just to be at home, to get things sorted, you know, fair enough. But then other things happened, things I'm not going to go into, just my husband's job, and um, it turns out that uh, all three of us are at home now. Now, I don't know if any of you, you know, we always say we want our husbands, we always want our partners to be at home and to help out, but it has been four weeks where it's me, Brian, my husband, and little M at home every day, all day. Believe it or not, it's a, it's a cabin fever feeling, to be honest with you. So this whole mummy time, I mean, it's actually, I'm actually very, for one, on one side of things, I'm really, really happy that I get to spend this time with, um, with Matias, who's little M, um, at home, because I've actually, you know, fair enough, he's gone to nursery for a year and a half, and it's a lot different when he's home every day, and I, I have actually been enjoying it, and I, I think as a mother, you start learning new things, because now I can actually have a small conversation with him, so he's, a, he, I, I, you know, I realize he's really funny, and that's what I've actually been enjoying, so mine is the opposite of mommy and me time, because I think when I was a working parent, I actually had time to myself, you know, I had my set times where, you know, commuting, believe it or not, I loved it. It was just time for myself. Put on my iPod, have my coffee in the morning, you know, West London to Central London. No one bothered me. I wasn't a mom. It was just myself. And then, you know, I worked in Soho during lunchtime. I could go out with my friends. Sometimes after work, I'd go for drinks, you know, because Brian could pick, pick him up. So, you know, I had the time for myself. And now, actually, now that I'm a stay-at-home, I'm you know, it's a different time. I'm not complaining about it. So that's what I mean by it's different. And, um, but I've come to, to realize that, um, at the same time, it was, I don't regret having ever gone back to work at when he was a year old, but now I'm, I'm enjoying my time with him. It is bloody hard work, as you guys say. Um, but I, I notice, like, I test him sometimes, you know, just to know. I don't know what a two-and-a-half-year-old thinks. And I ask him, oh, do you, do you want to go to nursery to see Christina? That's one of his teachers. And he's like, no, no, only mommy, only puppy. So that, that kind of gives us a sense that, you know, that he does like to be at home. And I think it's also, someone also said to me, um, actually Monica from Mom on a Brink said to me, you know, sometimes it's good for kids not to have that much structure, but... Um, and just to let them relax and be in their home. And, and I agree with that, but I, at the same time, I'm really happy that he did have the nursery experience because he, he, he you know, he's really focused and, and he's learned a lot of things. We had other issues where, you know, with his speech development and his hearing, so that turned out well. So it's actually opposite now. I don't have that mommy time anymore, believe it or not, even though my husband's at home, but we're right in the middle of planning a big move to the States which is actually hard work as well, and it's also extremely emotional. I, I've realized, you know, I thought I was ready to go, and then, you know, like yesterday I broke down crying. I thought, oh, I don't want to go. I love it here. This is our home. 
Um, but then you start thinking, well, you know, my son doesn't really know his grandparents. Uh, you know, traveling is expensive. Not everyone can come see us. So it's, uh, I think it's definitely time. And now as the last month is winding down, um, I'm really thankful for the time, the opposite of mummy and me time, the time I have at home with my boys, even though I highly encourage my husband to leave the house daily for at least two to three hours. It's it's too much. It's too much to handle. Um, I feel like we're retired. <laughs> he needs to find a, a hobby. But um, so that that's it. And I know a lot of parents. I know a lot of other moms might say, "Well, I'd love if my husband was home with me, or if I had all the three of us together." But every single day for the past four weeks is a little bit too much. And as I said, I've had my mummy me time. I've had my time to myself you know, where I was going out to lunches and coffees and meetings and kind of just having someone else take care of him. And now it's, you know, it's um, it's a little end time, really, and, and I'm happy to do it, so, and I'm really excited. But, um, yeah, and I know, and best of luck to you, all you parents who whose kids are in school or just starting school, so do enjoy the time you have off because we all deserve it. Bye.